Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, for a special Halloween video, I thought I would show you guys my entire Haunted Mansion collection. If you didn't know, the Haunted Mansion is my favorite ride in Disneyland and in Disney World. Just in general, I collect an obscene amount of Disney stuff, but I have specifically collected some Haunted Mansion stuff that I am very excited to show you guys. First thing is obviously my t-shirt. So I bought this when I worked in Disney World. So it is a Haunted Mansion t-shirt and it actually says at the bottom Liberty Square. So if you buy this t-shirt in Disneyland, it'll say New Orleans Square. In Disneyland and in Disney World, the Haunted Mansion is in different lands so in Disney World it's in Liberty Square where in Disneyland it's in New Orleans Square I didn't find one but I want to get another one that says New Orleans Square so I have literally the exact same shirt just with two different places it will mean nothing to anyone else but it will mean something to me and then you saw in my thumbnail that I have this book that is all about the Haunted Mansion. I actually bought this off of Amazon and it just is literally the entire history of the rides including the ones in like Disneyland Paris and stuff which is called Phantom Manor. I've actually been on that because I've been to Disneyland Paris and then they have the different ones in the different Disneyland parks in Asia. It even goes into a little bit of detail about the stories behind like the iconic characters in the Haunted Mansion. For example, the hitchhiking ghosts, the stretching room portraits, and Constance the Bride, as well as it talks about the uh, Disneyland holiday transformation that they do. So in Disneyland and in Tokyo Disneyland, from Halloween to Christmas, they actually transform the Haunted Mansion into the Nightmare Before Christmas. I absolutely love like the history of just Disney and Disneyland in general. So I love this book because it's the history of my absolute favorite ride. So speaking of the stretching room portraits, I also have this postcard that a friend of mine sent me in the mail. So this is from my friend Leah and she sent me this postcard. So I have a box that I keep like cards and stuff in, but this one I keep out because it's Haunted Mansion and this is by the artist Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Leah sent me this postcard and it is absolutely, I don't want to say adorable because <laughs> it's supposed to be kind of like eerie but I love it because I love the Haunted Mansion and she even said in it, I saw this postcard and I immediately thought of you. She sent me this postcard a while ago and like told me that the Haunted Mansion now has its own merch store in Disney World which is like so cool. When I went to Disney World in 2016 with Tori, we actually like filmed my reaction in that merch store because I love the Haunted Mansion and that was my first time seeing the whole merch store. Speaking of the Haunted Mansion store, as when I was there in 2016, I picked up this book for myself and this is Tales from the Haunted Mansion Volume 1, The Fearsome Foursome. I haven't been back to Disney World since 2016. I'm hoping that when I go back to Disney, I can start collecting some more of these. So this is Volume 1, which makes me excited to think that there's more than one of these. I want to get the rest of these. I also obviously have the DVD copy of the movie The Haunted Mansion. Even though this definitely is not one of my favorite movies ever or Disney movies, I still have it. Not only because I collect Disney movies, but because it's Haunted Mansion, I had to have it. I have heard that they're in talks of making a new Haunted Mansion movie, which I would be so excited for. I mean, this wasn't horrible in comparison to other like ride to movie adaptations. There are definitely some that I have that I've watched that are just not good at all. This one is definitely not the best in comparison to like the Pirates of the Caribbean. I really hope if they do redo this movie or they take the Haunted Mansion ride and create a new movie with that, that they do something amazing. The thing about the Haunted Mansion is there's absolutely so many stories that you could take. You could literally take one story from the Haunted Mansion and make an amazing movie about that one story. And I feel like they just tried to jam pack so many little things from that ride into this movie. There's so 
many things that they could do. They could do an entire story about like Master Gracie and his manner. They could do an entire story about Constance the Bride. They could do an entire like story about the origin story of the Hitchhiking Ghost. I have a few Haunted Mansion pins that I've collected over the years. I think my sister got this for me, but if uh, someone else got this for me, like Tori, if you're watching this and you gave this to me, I'm so sorry, I totally forgot, but I think my sister gave this to me because not only does she know I love Haunted Mansion, but her and I also have like an inside joke with like dinosaurs and stuff, but also Tori and I kind of do too, so it still could have been Tori. It is just this pin of Rex on the Haunted Mansion and it says, can someone please cover my eyes? Which is a line from Toy Story 2. In this case, it's because he's in the Haunted Mansion and he's scared. The next pin I have, I don't remember if I got this in Disneyland or in Disney World, but it is just a pin of Mickey as the grave digger in the Haunted Mansion ride. It has Mickey and Pluto there, and then on the one tombstone, it says the Haunted Mansion, and then around the tombstones, you can see the hitchhiking ghosts. And then the last ones I have, this one I know my sister got for me. It is just an interpretation of the stretching room and it's the tightrope walker, but instead of the girl, it's Captain Hook and his little backing has come loose here. It's Captain Hook over TikTok the crocodile. And then right beside him, I have three collectible pins of the hitchhiking ghosts. So if you didn't know, fun fact, the hitchhiking ghosts are named Phineas, Ezra, and Gus. So Phineas is the traveler, Ezra is the skeleton, and Gus is the prisoner. These were special ones. They have the little hidden Mickey on them. So these ones you couldn't actually purchase. You could only get them through trading with cast members. So I actually was able to trade and get all three of them. And then along with this t-shirt here, I have two other t-shirts that are Haunted Mansion related. The first one is a tank top that my friend Tori actually made me. You may have seen this long, long time ago when Tori and I went to Disneyland in 2016 and we did our present opening video, but she made me this tank top, which I absolutely love the color, and it has the tightrope walker over the crocodile, which is so freaking cute. And then the other thing I have is a t-shirt that has the hitchhiking ghost and it says three thumbs up. I bought this at Hot Topic. They had lots of Haunted Mansion stuff because it was the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion last year so they had a whole bunch of Haunted Mansion stuff so this is the one thing I picked up. Speaking of the 50th anniversary I totally forgot I can't believe I forgot this I actually saw this item in my closet and this was the inspiration for this video and that is my Haunted Mansion spirit jersey. I got this again last year at the Disney store when they had their 50th anniversary celebration for the Haunted Mansion. On the pocket here it says ghost host and then the entire bottom half is all of the wallpaper print from the ride and then it says the Haunted Mansion across the back and then one last thing I have that I got for from the like 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion is this set of Mickey ears that I bought last year in Disneyland so it has the Haunted Mansion wallpaper print again but it says 50 all over it for the 50th anniversary and then it has this special emblem here that says haunted mansion 50 years of frightening fun and then on the one ear it has the haunted mansion and then on the other ear it has the hat box ghost which is a whole other story that i didn't even mention that's a whole other thing that they could do an entire movie on is the origins of the hat box ghost one last thing before i get into the last items that are very exciting you may have seen this if you came to this video from my instagram but i have this adorable little puppy dog bow weasley is fashioning it right now and it is a purple bow that has the print on it and then the wraparound is the Haunted Mansion green. It's actually removable. The bow actually comes off and you can put on a different bow if you want and I bought an entire set of these when I was in Disney World in 2016. I bought a whole bunch of these little bows and little puppy dog ties for Weasley and this was one of the ones that was in the set. This one is obviously my favorite. Hi! So that is everything I think I think that I currently own that is related to the Haunted Mansion. I'm just jumping on right now because I was cleaning up everything from my video and I realized I totally forgot to show you guys a couple other things. I knew I was forgetting something and I was putting stuff away and I was like 
right i forgot those so these are my three pairs of haunted mansion socks that i own so these ones have constants on them and i got these at hot topic again when they were having their 50th anniversary sale then these ones i got in disneyland so on the one side we have gus and ezra and then if you flip them over we have phineas and then on this one it says a ghost will follow you home and then my last pair I got in Disneyland as well. And these ones are the stretching room portraits. So we have the gentleman on the barrel. We have Constance. We have the tightrope walker. And then we have the three gentlemen sinking in the quicksand. And now I'm going to open up for you guys my newest Haunted Mansion purchase. I'm so excited about this. These are from the brand Cakeworthy, which I did an entire video on before where I showed all my flannels that I owned from them. I absolutely love their stuff. They basically fashioned my entire trip to Disneyland last year. When I saw that they came out with Haunted Mansion flannels for this Halloween season, I absolutely lost my mind they did have other haunted mansion stuff like they had a dress that resembles the maid costumes from the ride and i think they had another dress that was the um wallpaper print i can't remember exactly but i got the flannels because that's kind of like what i collect this package arrived about two days ago and i've just been so excited to open it but i've been waiting because i knew i wanted to film a video opening these up i just didn't know exactly what i wanted to do so so I was sitting here working on something and I saw my spirit jersey in the closet and that's what gave me the idea to be like I should do an entire video on all my haunted mansion stuff so here they are these are the two colors which are very reminiscent of the ride especially this one the green and the purple this one is more of a just purple and black so a little bit less haunted mansion-y but still the first thing i noticed when i opened this is on both the collars of these shirts they have embroidered this hm for the haunted mansion on this one in the breast pocket there's a little gargoyle peeking out this one on the back is written this chamber has no windows and no doors which if you know the ride you know that that is a line from the stretching room when you're in the stretching room they say this chamber has no windows or no doors so very exciting I absolutely love this I do like that they put this quote on these colors because even though the other one is still very Haunted Mansion-y they're both direct quotes from the ride however this one definitely makes me think more of the Haunted Mansion because the very first thing you do in the ride is go into the stretching room so I like that they put this quote on like the Haunted Mansion-y colors again we have that embroidered HM and then this one sticking out of the pockets you can just barely make out Phineas, Ezra, and Gus there. If that wasn't a dead giveaway, this one on the back says, beware of hitchhiking ghosts. So obviously, I love the hitchhiking ghosts. Like, that's such a thing <laughs> for the Haunted Mansion. And I feel like that's something that really sticks with people, literally, in the sense of the ride because it's the last or technically the second last thing you see when you're leaving the haunted mansion is that a hitchhiking ghost like follows you home i just absolutely love anything to do with this ride there's absolutely so much history behind this ride it's amazing when i did work in disney world i did have the opportunity to do a backstage tour of the haunted mansion myself and my group of friends that i worked with in disney world we got the opportunity to go to the magic kingdom when it was still closed in the morning we were literally in the magic kingdom at 4 a.m and we got to walk the entire length of the ride and to see how they do everything that they do and we got to see so many little like secrets and things in the ride and it was just absolutely amazing and we heard so many incredible stories about old cast members that worked there and just like tricks that they would also pull on this ride and it was just the coolest thing ever so anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it i couldn't think of another scary story to tell you guys this halloween i know last halloween i told you guys a scary story also about when i worked in disney world 
funnily enough, but I just couldn't think of another scary story to tell you guys, so I was like, well, what could I do instead? And like I said, I had those plaids there waiting to be opened for a video, but I didn't want to do just those two plaids in a video. I saw my spirit jersey and I was like, I have a great idea. I'm gonna show you guys my entire Haunted Mansion collection. Haunted Mansion, ghosts, Halloween, it all coincides. Happy Halloween everyone. Please make sure that even though it is Halloween and we're excited for that, you're still maintaining a distance from each other and keeping yourself safe because your safety is very, very important. It is more important than free candy. I know, I can't believe I said that too, but just stay safe, keep your distance, and wear a fun mask because you know what? This is the time of year that we can wear masks and it's okay and it's not a big deal. So wear an amazing Halloween mask. Have a great, a very safe Halloween, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye everybody, happy Halloween.